took my last bite of avocado toast and realized that it, the bread was moldy. No. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, Cause the mold is green and the avocado was green. So I feel like maybe I didn't. And now, and I'm like very pregnant and now I'm like, don't Google no, it. Don't Google it. Yeah. Can you, there's something that you could do to like, I don't know if it's healthy to I don't know. Do I take charcoal? <laughs> I will leave. I figure over the centuries and centuries that women have been giving birth to babies, I'm sure some ladies ate some moldy shit every now and then. So I'm sure, I'm sure of it. I mean, and there's nothing that our bodies can't do. That's right. That's so. right. Come on. Um, I need to congratulate you straight away because I really believe that and I'm not like sucking up. This music, I mean, the song is fire, but the music video is like the best I've seen in a very long time. This is taking me back to like the late 90s, early 2000s when the music videos were like everything. You have worked your ass off for this thing. Congratulations. Thank you so much. That means a lot because, you know, obviously anybody that knows me knows that I'm very, very influenced and inspired by the 90s and the early 2000s and I just feel like that's been the best era in music. Oh. Um, I always make a joke and say that I was born at the wrong time because I didn't really get to enjoy as an adult <laughs> all the yeah. things that the 90s and early 2000s had to offer. But thank you so much. That means a lot. I have so many questions about the video because I was watching it like, how she do that? How she do that? What do you mean? Uh, What's that about? So, first of all, the slide, like, I knew you were going to bring that up. I knew you were going to bring because that up. Because it's not just a camera trick. I can tell you're moving. Yeah, I was How? moving. How? Moving. I wasn't all camera work. Oh. Oh. You're going to tell me the secret? Movie magic. <laughs> no, but I was actually literally sliding across the floor. I was being um, pulled. <sighs> yes. But you still look so yeah. like graceful and sexy thank you no I, I was holding my center together <laughs> that's why I'm like no it wasn't just camera work like I was actually putting forth an effort I worked hard sliding across the floor that ain't to easy. position but make it look you know glamorous <laughs> and when you're in the black outfit with the diamonds cut out and you're like how long did you have to hold those poses for because uh, it's they're not easy poses like you think oh she's lying on a staircase no, no you have to keep that core on baby especially the pose where I was on my um like I was I was laying down on the table yeah my butt in the air yeah that pose as easy as it looks baby <laughs> I was cramping in my legs <laughs> Like guys, if we're gonna if we're gonna film, let's do it now. Like, come on, like we can't have too much time in between takes because I was, you know, once you get out of the pose and then you have to get back into it, sometimes it's worse. It's kind of like taking a, off a pair of heels and you yes. have to pump back on, it just makes it worse. So I'm like, let's just do it, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. No, nah, but that shit was harder. It was harder than it looked. It was worth it. It was worth the pain because it looks so freaking good. And my final question that it's all the questions I've done about the music video and I can sleep at night. The clamshell outfit. I mean, with these, I mean, with these pregnant boobs, I mean, that's, that'd be like, it would be, I would need a crane to keep it on. But oh, you're young. I'm not, I'm not pregnant, but I understand the struggle. <laughs> was it like super glued on? Like what the no, it was actually, so this is all a part of the movie magic. It was actually a bra. So there was metal metal built on top of the bra and we had straps. They were like transparent straps, clear straps. And um, we took it out in post. Yeah, I knew that's so clever. You people, it was so clever these days. Okay, I, I feel better now. I feel better. The weight that these boobs have. Yes. It would have been impossible to try to glue them on to me. Baby girl. <laughs> You wait till if one day you decide to have a baby, oh, then man. you'll understand a heavy oh, breast. I think about that. I'm like, are they going to get bigger? Oh, they going to get bigger. Oh, In man. the shower sometimes I have to get my husband to just come and stand behind me and reach around and just hold oh. up just to give me some oh. relief. No, <laughs> they hurt. They hurt. Just even like when you're on your, you know. Yes. It's like that for like. 
four months at the start and then you get a break and then your milk comes in and then it's like, boom, again. <laughs> but hey, like you said, being a woman is the greatest thing in the world. And I think there is a beautiful parallel here because you're out here with this super empowering song. It's pretty much about a woman owning her sexuality and it's an instruction manual pretty much. So you're saying, I'm going to help you out a little bit. Bit. Right. <laughs> like I'm gonna make it easy for you and I love yeah. that it's a bit of an instruction manual it's not like do what you want it's like okay this is how it's gonna be do this do yeah. this exactly and sometimes you gotta break it down you know I feel like a lot of women sometimes often com- complain about not being fulfilled but you know you gotta break it down we shouldn't always have to but what they don't know they don't know and you deserve to be satisfied yeah. and not satisfied but like genuinely fulfilled yes you know? and also so, when you don't know what status you gotta know sometimes right. yeah. you know yeah. you gotta you, you gotta can't both not know. you can't both not know you can't both not know then everyone's fumbling around and wasting everybody's time Ain't no one fulfilled when that's happening uh-uh <laughs> not on my watch and not okay. on money's watch and, and speak your mind and say what you want you know? i love that and it was actually because we assume right that when Normani and Cardi B get together, then it's some like big record deal. This guy or lady speaks to this person and the car. But it was your stylist, which I think is like the coolest thing in the whole world that was like, I will hook this up for you. No, between the three of us, we made that happen. Like we played a for real. That was nothing that the label orchestrated between her label, between my label. It was simply me being like, hey, yo, we need to do something. Why, why are we waiting so long? Like, let's just make something happen. And she brought up Wild Side. And that was the record that I was already putting out as my first single on top of the fact that I was already in rehearsal for about three weeks for the music video. So it just, it made sense. I love that. Because I think a couple of years ago, that wouldn't have been a thing. Like, I think maybe women especially were a bit more controlled by labels and what they could do and who they could and everything was a bit more kind of no you follow the process but I think it's really cool that we are at a place now where you can just go no I'm gonna do this don't get mistaken we did have to fight though for it to end up happening the way that it was orchestrated was simply just us being fans of each other super fangirls of each other um but behind the scenes like after we initiated the conversation of having the collaboration happen like there is some things that we had to like go through to see yeah. that did happen but that's why I just I love her and I know that she rides for me because she fought to be a part of this special moment for me as it should be I love that I love the song I love the video I love you keep working your ass off Thank it's paying you. off and it's so obvious that you are working hard to kind of really do this and we're all the richer for it so you take care of yourself no money and thanks for making time and be well be be well to you too with the avocado toast i'll keep you posted i'll send you a tweet yeah. if you end up in the er vomiting well, up with we're not going to speak that we're not even going to speak that you're going to be just <laughs> amen amen see you sister you have a great day right, thank you